Hi, I'm Shamika Rhymes, and I'm here with Hollywood Junket. And you can also find me over at Check the Rhymes TV on YouTube and at the MofoChronicles.com blog. So I'm here to talk about claim to fame, y'all. Last week, oh my goodness, it was a twist that I don't think any of us saw coming because during the guest off, Cole backstabbed Shane. Now, Shane was his little boo thing in the house, so I was not even expecting him to go there, and I'm sure you weren't either. But Monet, who was her best friend, she declared war. She was like, she is coming for Cole, and he is next on the chopping block. And and Gabriel, he was like, yes, I'm with it too. So they were on a mission to get them, to get Cole out of the house after he turned his back on his boot. Like I I still like watching their reaction when they all sat there with their mouth open. That was me on the couch, like wondering what did he just do and why? But I get it. It was a sure bet because she was, <laughs> Shane is Eddie Murphy's daughter. And actually I almost didn't even catch that though. But once I saw like, took a good look at her, I was like, oh, I see her mother and her features. But anyway, <laughs> so what was revealed at the very end of last week's episode was that Shane and Monet had figured out that Cole is related to Alicia Keys. And then more clues this week just solidified that. So let's get into what happened this week because this week was just even more mind blowing because I wasn't sure exactly where this was gonna go once Cole turned his back on Shane. I'm st I still, I can't get over it. So anyway, last week's challenge also, let me back up. Last week's challenge also revealed that Gabriel's clue was a hamburger or cheeseburger, or whatever, however you want to look at it, from Good Burger. Y'all remember that movie with Keenan and Kel? And um, I think it was on Nickelodeon and it was part of the show, like a sketch on the show, all that. So that was a clue. And I started to think, like, wait a minute. Now, who could he possibly be related to? Because I don't think it's Keenan or Kel. And then as he just dropped little nuggets throughout the show, and then I went back and thought about, he keeps mentioning athlete, but we know he's not related to an athlete. But he, even though I still think he looks like Marshawn Lynch, um, they could, maybe they're cousins, I don't know. But that's who I thought he looked like. But as I've just listened to him talk, he kept mentioning during this past week that he grew up in North Carolina. He mentioned that his, a uh, relative was born in San Diego. So me being in North Carolina, I started to think, now, wait a minute. Hmm. Who could this possibly be? Because I do know of one comedian that grew up here and that's Nick Cannon. So that's my vote. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think, but I think that he's related to Nick Cannon. We'll see. <laughs> now, one misstep last week was when Carson told Chris that her celebrity is not Jeff Gordon. Now, she should have just sat there and ate her food quietly, not said a word. And I mean, she wasn't eating, but that's, you know, just how we talk on the internet. <laughs> but I think she should have just kept quiet and then she should have just let whatever happened happen during the guess off. Like if they picked her and they were wrong, then guess what? She would have still been there and it'd be fine. Of course, that traveled through the house. Hey, she said it's not Jeff Gordon. I, but people are going to think, oh, maybe it is because is she lying? Is it Jeff Gordon? I personally, I don't think it's Jeff Gordon, but Gabriel seemed convinced that he knew because of growing up in North Carolina, we're around NASCAR country here, but he was convinced that he knew that it really was Jeff Gordon, but I think it's Dale Earnhardt. I, I just, my gut instinct says that. But another thing, new clues were placed on the board this week. Some of those pointed to Jim Carrey. Hmm be related to Jim Carrey. I know that they keep saying that it's potentially Chris. Uh, and then they had the little moment where he <laughs> he pops up and he quotes a, a Jim Carrey from um, In Living Color, but I, I, it, it doesn't give me Jim Carrey vibes. I don't think so. But this week was also the telephone challenge, which is such a fun game. I don't know about y'all, but it stressed me out. It stressed me out because I'm like, why can't y'all remember what this person said? Because this, I, you know what it is? I think it's because social media, but we can remember what somebody in a text message said from three years ago, but they could not remember what somebody said two seconds ago to run it to this person and that 
on and on and on. But it, that game stressed me out, but I can see why it's a fan favorite. Um, but they brought that from last season. And at the end of the challenge, poor JR, poor JR, I was yelling at the TV like, bruh, put the sun down. He was determined to use that sun. I, 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 JR, I don't know. Maybe he's on pain meds from his foot. I don't know. But um, he was the losing team captain in this challenge. And so he had to pick a person with him to the guest off elimination and he chose Carson. Now, I wasn't sure how that was going to go down. But anyway, they got to keep the limericks, which were full of clues. And those clues led them to Carrot Top for Olivia and Singers for that Las Vegas clue. But Chris quickly tried to divert everything to make them think about magicians because of that card. I think would they do that? They don't. They think they're throwing people off their off that scent, but I think they're just making themselves look a little more suspicious. But who knows? It, it seemed to work in the moment, right? Um, <laughs> speaking of Olivia, I feel like both her and Jr. are kind of fl flying under the radar. I don't know that I can figure out personally who Olivia is related to. Maybe she's the one that's related to Jim Carrey. What do you guys think? Um, <laughs> I don't know, but Gabriel was the winner of the challenge, which meant he got to pull a clue. Now, Monet, you know, she's still on that mission to get Cole out of the house because she's still trying to, you know, hold it down for her girl because she, you know, Shane and her were like this. So Monet said, Gabriel, I want you to pull my clue so that nobody else gets it. And so, you know, he's a good guy, so he did. No, I wouldn't have. I would have gone and picked Olivia's because that's the one I want everybody to pick when they go in there and nobody does it. <laughs> and anyway, he pulled her clue. And I could even figure this one out because most of them are very hard to figure out just looking at it. But it was Saturday Night Live and Curb Your Enthusiasm. He had absolutely no idea who it could be. Do you guys know? Because I could tell you. If you look at her face, you'll notice that dimple. Does that give you a hint on who it could be? I'm gonna just throw my my idea out there, who I think it is. I think it's a comedian and actor, JB Smooth. So that's who I think it is. That's who I think her daddy is, or it could be her uncle, but I think it's her daddy because they look just alike and have that chin. That's just my guess though. <laughs> anyway, Olivia and Carson were upset that Chris had not shared his clue when which he pulled last week. Do you remember that? So they're thinking that his celebrity is Jim Carrey. And I really wish they'd stop thinking that because I just don't believe that, that he's related to Jim Carrey. I really think that it's Donny Osmond. Look at his eyes. And if you think about Caesar's Palace, Donny Osmond obviously has played Vegas for many, 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 many years. Just my clue though. Chris told Gabriel that he decided not to share that clue with anybody in the house because he's trying to keep himself safe, which is a great way to play the game, don't you think? Um, but the two decided to make a pact and decided to share clues exclusively with each other. Y'all, I don't know that I would personally trust Chris. That's just me. But Gabriel seems like a very trusting guy. I just think he should watch his back. And I also don't think he should share every single clue. But you know what, I'm not in the house. They are, they have to figure it out. But during the guess off, the contestants had to vote for either JR or Carson to be the guesser this week. And of course they voted for Carson because they felt like she would um, be the one to get Cole up out of there. Um, and JR was just kind of on the, he seemed not a hundred percent sure he was just on the fence but but they were like Carson is a sure bet to get him out of here and so she ended up choosing Cole to guess who his celebrity relative is and drum roll she guessed correctly Alicia Keys now I don't know if any of you guys saw that coming because I mean the clues were there the the, the piano the diary um you remember she had the song um diary I would sing it for you but I'm not trying to scare anybody today. And, and when you look at them, you're like, oh, I see it, brother and sister. So 
Um, and it was actually Monet who shared that she was positive that Alicia Keys was his sister or his relative. She didn't say his sister, but she said his relative. She was positive. Carson wasn't sure if Monet was being honest because let's be honest, let's be truthful here. I don't know that I would trust Monet because look at what her and Shane did um, earlier this season. So, you know, Monet also wanted revenge on Cole. So that's the other way of looking at it. Like she was going to give that right information to get that man out of that house. <laughs> so let's take a look at some guesses here. Who do you think is Chris's celebrity? Like I said, I think it is Donny Osmond. I'm not really 100% sold on the fact that it could be Jim Carrey, but you know, stranger things have happened. Um, Olivia, I'm still torn on because she did mention that her celebrity has a Razzie, but she also said this person was a media personality. And I, when I'm looking at her, you know, I know some people thought maybe Carrot Top is her celebrity, but just, I, we don't know if that's her real red hair, but I personally think that her celebrity is Anderson Cooper. Hear me out. I think it's Anderson Cooper because media personality and their facial features. Look at her. Look at that girl. They look alike. Put up a picture side by side. They look alike. I'm convinced that is her relative. Um, you know, let us know who you think her relative is. Now, JR is another one that's still flying under the radar with no one attempting his clues yet. You know, maybe it's because they feel sorry for him because he's got that boot on his foot, but we do know. Basketball is not his game. Now, when he came into the house, I was convinced that maybe Dwayne Wade, because he looks like him, that maybe they were related. But now I don't think so, since now we know that his person was born in Georgia, and I forget the name of the city. And so I started to, link, to think about it, and I actually Googled, because I'm like, I've never heard of this place in Georgia. There's not that many celebrities that come out of that area in Georgia. Because at first, I will be honest, at first, once I thought about Dwayne Wade, I thought, Georgia, oh, wait, maybe it's one of the outcast members. Maybe it's Big Boy. Maybe it's Andre 3000 or one of the rappers. And then I was like, no, they're not from that area. But there is a rapper that's from the area <laughs> that uh, JR has mentioned. So my guess is Lil Nas X. We'll we'll see what happens because you know I it, literally I don't think there's anybody else that's born out of that city. But anyway, um, I think if people start to guess that Jim Carrey for Chris, it's going to be the second time that they would have gotten his celebrity relative wrong. Um, Hugo is another one. Who do you think his relative is? I know that. I feel like there's not really a lot of clues for him either, except he did mention something about, or one of the clues was it being um, one of the most powerful men in the world or something like that, or powerful leader. It's gotta be a president, right? Or former president. And I think someone has mentioned Jimmy Carter. You know, I, I could see that, but I'm gonna keep watching because I'm not really sure on who his relative is. So anyway, that's my time. I am Shamika again here with Hollywood Junket. And again, you can catch me over at Check the Rhymes TV and themofochronicles.com.